Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I am a guest again with Alt New Scrapbook Blog. I'm so excited. I am using their creativity kit called Remember the Day. Now a disclaimer here. Um, this won't be my best quality video because I prepped everything and brought the kit and my inks and I brought them all to a scrapbook crop for three days. So Sorry if some things are not in the camera. Sorry if you see my phone or a coffee mug or a napkin or something. A crop is a very social thing. So there's quite a bit of um, chatting and interruptions, but good interruptions. You know, it's, it's a fun time. Okay, the first thing is I am using my die cutting machine. I'm showing you the, the formula on my platform. Sometimes you have to look online, but part of the Remember the Day kit has the journal card builder die that goes along with the same stamp set. I created a background by embossing with the die on this traveler's notebook page here instead of cutting with it. Now those papers, you see the pattern paper there, card, that was die cut with that die. So it just creates a nice unique background. So that's my idea is to die cut some pattern paper from the scrapbooking kit. It is the 12 by 12 papers. It's the live your dream pattern papers from that scrapbooking kit that had come out last year. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Anyway, so I am documenting a memory of celebrating our adoption day, which, you know, if you're familiar with me, we're a Chinese adoptive family. So we get together with friends when we can. We didn't this past year, which was sad, but that's why it's so good to document these special memories when we can get together. I am using regular makeup brushes that I purchased off of Amazon. It comes in a set of 10, it has these teeny tiny little brushes. And I was so inspired by this scalloped builder stencil that's part of the Remember the Day creative creativity kit and the Asian influence that I wanted to create, be able to create with different colors on this stencil. So in order to do that, I really needed a small applicator. And this was perfect, I loved it. So I'm going to, basically I'm doing two Traveler Notebook pages. They're not gonna go inside a pre-made Traveler's Notebook. Instead, I'm going to put these in a pocket and I think I showed earlier the album that I'll be putting that in. It's the Life Crafted album. So you can see that I am creating a multicolored background here with this stencil. And I am following the pattern of the stencil, like the very smallest little scallop I'm using, I believe, Rocky Shore. Um, the next largest scallop, I'm using crimson. I wanted some bright colors. And then the largest one, I believe I'm using Autumn Blaze. And then the there's another one that's kind of in between that scalloped side, those scallop sizes is Desert Night. So really, really vibrant colors. And I pretty much use those same colors you can see the pile of flowers there up above my craft mat. I stamped those using the Remember This Day stamp set that comes with this creativity kit. And I stamped basically in those same kind of colors. I wanted some really neutral but bold. So I definitely used, I love the white cardstock with the rocky shore and then the crimson and the autumn blaze stamped on those flowers that you can see right above my mat. I really love how those came out. And then I wanted to emphasize the blues. So I brought in some of the desert night. And I think I even brought in some soft lilac and ocean waves, Caribbean sky. I just really had fun with this stamp set, creating different variations of the ink colors and the layers that are available in that stamp set. But now you can see that this background is slowly coming together. It just was so relaxing, so fun to do. I really enjoyed this. Very fun to see all the different ways that you can create with this stencil. And then I'm just gonna continue that on to the top. 
So I won't show that whole process, but here is the end result. So it looks like I have one continuous traveler's notebook page by just moving the stencil. And now I'm gonna bring those two pages together and start working on the left side. I'm gonna bring in some of those pattern papers that I die cut from the journal card die. And I'm going to adhere those on top of my embossing with that same die because you can see a border of the embossing around it. Now another idea, and this was my first idea, but I decided not to go with that. I liked this better. But you could actually punch a hole and then trim the inside of where you have embossed and just do that inside, leaving the border. And then put the pattern paper behind your full TN spread here, which would be another really, really cool look. But I decided to just keep this relatively simple and adhere that directly on top. Now what I like about doing this is it creates really interesting angles. The pattern papers are gorgeous and all of that just works together to frame my photo that I'm gonna use on the left side. So I really love that look. Now here you can see I had die cut another of that same pattern paper that I used on the left and I had previously typed my journaling. I did a lot of prepping for the crop. So I, I did some journaling, I picked up my photos, have my general idea. And so really this is just putting this together, hoping that the idea that I have in mind works out. But of course, as you create things, just develop and it's really fun. It's really fun to see how you're inspired continuously as you're creating like this. So now I'm gonna pull in some of the journal card builder stamps and that really drew me into this creativity kit. Not only do you have that flower set from the Remember This stamp, but you have this journal card builder stamp set that has days of the week, very, very usable. It has the journaling, spot for that for that die it has the banner it has a circle and that's what i'm doing here i want to go ahead and use some of these little images here and stamp some of the florals from the remember this stamp and then i'm going to detail cut those out using similar colors that I had started out with with my stencil and my flowers. But I think I ended up going with a little bit darker of a lavender purple color. I think I went with lavender fields instead of the soft lilac, just to make sure that that leaf that I'm using from that floral set, remember this stamp set, will stand out a little bit more on those images. And then I will finish cutting these off camera. And then I do believe I cut I, I stamped some with the reverse. I did some with the purple and then I used the desert night. So I just wanted to have these ready just like I had the flowers. It just helps as a scrapbooker. I really like to have things ready to go and just play around with the placement of that. And that's kind of what I'm starting to do. I'm trying to get a general idea of what I want to do. I don't want to take away too much. I really like seeing the white, I like seeing the embossed area, so I don't want to cover too much of them up, but I do want to create some layers. So in the meantime, while I'm deciding on what flowers and leaves that I do want to add from my stampings, I decided to pull out the Sweethearts Adhesive Wood Veneers that's part of this creativity kit. And I do want to add a nice big bold title to go along. You'll see later it will go along uh, with the stamp that I add to the right side. So I'm gonna add this here and then I can kind of start playing around a little bit more with adding some of those leaves and flowers. Really that happy veneer helped to start getting this to go together. Like I have the, the blue leaves under there. I really like that instead of the large flowers. It's really just enough that you can see something layered but not taking away from the background. So I have my blue leaves now that's pulling from the pattern papers and the, the stenciled background on the right. And now I'm gonna bring in some of the flowers that I stamped with the orange shades and the crimson. It really helps it to pop even more. On those orange flowers, I started just like I did with the other ones. I started with Rocky Shore, but then I went to the Autumn Blaze and then the Crimson just to create a little bit more boldness. 
And what I do really like about this Remember This stamp set is even though I'm not using any of the large flowers, it's got some really cool leaves and smaller flowers. It's got, it almost looks like little buds. There's two sets like that. And then it's another one that looks like little, uh, I can't think, little daffodils. I can't think of the name of the flower, but really, or blue bonnets maybe is what they're called. But they're just really, really cute. And the direction of how they're going really complements my title, my angles, and again, points to that photo and is not overpowering this page. And you did see that lavender with the desert night image, the circle image from the journal card builder stamp that I added there at the top. That was just a really perfect color to blend in with that pattern paper that I used at the top. I thought maybe I would use this other little piece here, but I ended up not using it. And I ended up using one of the large flowers in all the orange colors that I had stamped the layers with, but not the whole part. I wanted to frame a little bit more around this page. So I added, I cut it and then I added it to the right and then I added it to the left. Just enough to add a little bit more of a triangle with those colors. And it frames the photo and it doesn't take away from that background. Now I wanna add from the journal card builder stamp, I wanna add moments and that will tie in with the happy veneer that I have on the left. So it'll be happy and then moments at the very top of this journal card. And then to finish that journal card, I'm just gonna add one of the hearts from the Sweethearts Adhesive Wood Veneers to finish that off. And that's it. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can use this creativity kit I love that Altenew has these kits like this. It was very, very inspiring. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really, really appreciate it.